What's going on, people? It's CK. We're here again. C King Reactions. Apologies for the setup. I, as you can see, there's a light glaring right over the curtains right now. I should have invested in a ring light. I know it's a bit bummy, but yeah, I kind of got to stream like this. I got re I got to do my videos like this right now temporarily. Hopefully, you guys can see me. Hopefully, you guys can see me, and this will work for now. And then in the next couple of weeks or so, this will be sorted. Probably ne actually by my next video because I've ordered some curtains. So yeah. These blindfolds do not work, as you can tell. We are here for the latest chapter of One Piece. I'd be forgetting sometimes that there wasn't a week break because I'm so used to one every other chapter that when I, we don't get one, I kind of forget that one just dropped, which is kind of what happened with this chapter. So, starting off from where we left off with Sabo and the revolutionaries, he's he's a merry drawer looking for Kuma, and we just got crazy intel about these gods of knights. And Emu, I mean, King Cobra actually requested an audience. So, I don't know how Sabo specifically got set up, but he probably just dropped his body in front of him somewhere and then had him on camera. Probably something easy like that. Bonnie's there. The rest of the commanders are holding off Fujitora and Green Bulls. Cool. Ooh, hey, this, I, I wish I had this cover of Shonen Jump. Luffy's looking cold. I see the jewels, them glistening. Hey, come on! He's, hey, that, this this looks cold. This is hard. Oh, a new color spread as well. Oh, I like this one. Oh, it's all, is it all female? It's all the it's the all female cast. This is a this is actually a nice color spread, bro. They got flipping Uti here as well. Uti, bro. Yaman Yamamoto. Obviously, the, the obvious ones like Hancock and stuff. Who's that here? Toshigi. Finish Toshigi. This is actually a good cover. I like this one. Nice bright colours. So, we got chapter 1084, The Attempted Murder of a Celestial Dragon. Inside Pangea Castle at the Holy Land of Mary Dwar. Alright, so Sabo's just packed up these fodder. Cool, cool. So far, so good. You're Sabo, right? What? Jewelry Bonnie? I think we're both after the same thing, so let's skip the small talk. They broke into the guards' quarters and stole the keys to the slave collars. I did hear about Kuma having a daughter. I've always tried to keep tabs on revolutionary arm activity. That's how. Why would she not? That's weird. If Bonnie knew Kuma was a revolutionary, why would she not just... And she was keeping tabs on him. Why would she not just roll up and basically say, yeah, like, can I join? I wonder why she specifically became a pirate as opposed to a revolutionary army member, now that I think about it. Hmm, that's interesting. I know you're trustworthy. I'll leave it to you guys to get Dad's body to safety. Karasu, yeah. Mission complete. Deliver the keys and tell Morley to get Kuma and the others. Back to HQ as soon as they're free. What about you, Sabo? I'll be right behind you after I'm done here. Understood. Be careful. What's your next move, Bonnie? I'm off to Egghead to see whether Vegapunk has a way to restore my dad's mind. And if he can't? Oh, they had to go hide. Okay. Wait. What? Sabo? These are the same guys you just packed up. I know discretion is important in these scenarios, but what? You may as well just took these guys out. There's four of them. That's weird. I could have sworn I saw something. It feels like there are fewer guards than ever around here. We're too short-handed to cover a tower this big. I owe you one. Oh, is Bonnie injured? Haven't you heard you can blame you-know-what for that? What's that mean? What? Interesting. They're all gone because they saw it. Saw what? The legendary phantom room. Oh, so this must be where the swords are, I'm guessing. Kimu's throne. You idiot, don't talk nonsense like that. So I was like, what? Hmm, interesting. Let me go check this room out. <laughs> Egghead's in the new world. We're heading in opposite direction. Good luck on your voyage. It's a little odd to see a radical revolutionary acting so friendly. Where we're both determined to save the same person. Yeah, look after my dad for me. Oh, wow. So they 
it was the five elders that met Cobra. Wow. In the actual throne room. King Cobra, ruler of Alabaster. Why have you come to ask? Perhaps I should start from the beginning. As you are aware, the organization known as the World Government was founded 800 years ago when 20 different monarchs came together. Their families all promptly... He's about to say something so out of pocket. <laughs> no, Cobra, stop. We're going to get off the right now. Oh, this is peak. Their families all promptly moved to Mary Joa to live as one clan, referred to as the Celestial Dragons. The ones responsible for the creation of the world, and as such they have ruled over their creation ever since. Internally, the 20 were considered equal, and to ensure that no individual dictator would rise up from among them, they installed the empty throne. Each of them placed a weapon around the throne to symbolise their vow to never try and sit upon it. Except for Emu. So these lot have been lying to the whole world, essentially. If that's what Cobra's saying. Because it's supposed to be an empty throne. No one's supposed to sit upon that throne. There's supposed to be one defining leader. At the same time, new royal families were handpicked to rule the nations that the founders could no longer preside over. Those families are still in power to this day. In order to ensure the smooth transition, all references mentioned in the previous dynasty's reign were removed from each of the founders' respective home countries. With the sole exception of Alabaster, the monarch at the time was Queen Lily House of House Neferati. That name sounds familiar. While her name was immortalized, one of the founding 20, she did not, she did not stay to become a celestial dragon. Why is he just explaining the whole history? Of the whole world government to these guys, like they they're sitting there thinking, we already know this. We'll get to your point. <laughs> even we as readers know this as well. So even even him just spewing all this law right now, it's a bit. I guess it's better to just have it all in one place because it was sprinkled across the story. But yeah, and and it wasn't any. It wasn't recently. It was probably like pre Alabaster. I mean pre Wano. The last time we mentioned, they mentioned stuff like this. So. Instead, she was to return to Alabaster to continue her reign, which is why the Neferati family has continued to act as sovereigns. This is also this also means that only nineteen weapons. Are I've scoured all of my kingdom's ancient texts, but as far as I can tell, all known accounts chronologically, chronologian the period after the Void Century have one thing in common. Her name isn't mentioned once, so she's oh my goodness, is she supposed to be Emu? What? How are you alive? She got the immortal mortal fruit. Because I was thinking that silhouette kind of looks kind of like really stretching it. Looks like Emu. But, okay. It appears Queen Lily never made it to home Alabaster and the burden of ruling the country fell to her younger brother. Do you have any record of what became of her? To be blunt, 800 years is a very long time. Oh my goodness, and look, there, there's Emu right there. And it's true that the 20 families, the Neferati line, did not move here. However, it was believed that the Queen returned back to her country after that decision. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that details about her motives and journey are lost to the annals of history. We simply do not know. <laughs> hey, Cobra, you're asking dangerous questions. What is the meaning of D in that case? Why do you ask? The truth is a short letter penned by the Queen. Wait, what? The truth is a short letter penned by the Queen has been passed down from one generation to the next. Wait, 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 wait. So, this Queen Lily was a member of the D Clan or she was the founding member of the D Clan. Which one is it? Oh, they stopped there. That's annoying. Public courtyard, Pan Panagia Castle. Please stop, please. I beg you. Someone help. Don't hesitate. I finally caught myself a giant mermaid. Oh my goodness, this guy. I don't know why Luffy just didn't like literally air, his, air him out and just annihilate him. Excellent work, Carlos. Oh no, our beloved Princess Shirohoshi. 
I wonder what she eats. Ah, oh, this guy is sick. Get him out of here, man. I, it's so funny if Sabo hits in the exact same way Luffy him. That would be hilarious. Wow, I'm going to ride his town every single day. That is a wild statement. And if you don't listen, you'll know nothing but pain. This is bad. Her dad and, and gods are all still in the meeting. Stop this before anything else happens. Run away, that's so heartless. We didn't see a thing. Damn. Damn. You know what? You can't blame them. They'll, they'll, they will literally die on the spot if they try and help. Hey, mermaid, did you just say no to me? I won't tolerate such... Mermaid, did you just say no to me? I won't tolerate any defiance. She's a stranger. Forget about it. It's not like she was going to agree to marriage proposals anyway. From Rugu Kingdom. Don't be foolish. You will doom our country. Forgive us, Shirohoshi. We only looked away for a moment. Let's go home and never come back to this rotten place. Celestial dragons. Do away with the small fry. Oh, no. Kuma's still in action. Oh. Hit him with the laser beam. Ooh. All right, the brothers aren't cold, but <laughs> I can't, this is kind of gas. I don't know why, but them dodging this is kind of sick. <laughs> All right, I see you. I see you, fish brothers. I forgot their names. Um, the warlord Bartholomew Kuma. It truly is pitiful to see how far you've fallen, but we can't stop now. Let's do this, Ruboshi, Manboshi. Got them, Kuma. Who cares if they're royalty? No one will complain if we bury them in the, in the money. If we bury them in the money. <laughs> was that the right translation? Besides that, they're just fish. Shirahoshi, Rebecca, that's the baddie from before. Hey, Muskyard, I can hit him, right? By all means, I'll take full responsibility. Oh, yeah, I forgot that brother to rate him. Or was his uncle or nephew or something? But a royal like you must show restraint, Prince Fukuboshi. Muskyard, you hit me earlier. How could you? Kuma, kill him. Oh, this guy is, he is a mess. This Carlos guy needs to be removed from the planet. What? What's the difference, Mosgard? I can't just sit back and let him treat our little sister like that. Escaping is easier for them. They don't have a country to think about. They're pirates. Oh, wow. So it was, um, I forget his name. Hanmei or something. Bro, I got trained by the Tantars, yeah? Sir Leo, Sir Side, don't do it. He's a celestial dragon. Tail hammer. Oh my. Damn. Look at the head. His head just caved in. You know when you get. <laughs> you know when you get an empty can and you just step on it perfectly. That's what he looks like right now. Nah. They disrespected the shit out of him. That was a double attack as well. Let's go. <laughs> Drill dragon nail. Oh no. Look at the panel. Oh no, looking like the victims in Hunter x Hunter when um, the girl, when they broke the wishes and they all got crushed. Oh no, he looks, <laughs> he looks destroyed. <laughs> oh hey, no, it's a shame he's going to survive though. This, this is one piece of course. We're all doomed, that must have killed him, we saw it all happen. They murder Celestial Dragon and Admiral show up for sure. Stop picking on Kuma. Who the Oh, Morley. You don't have to listen to anyone's orders anymore. It's okay. Let's go home together. Damn. That must be painful for them to see though. Like, not only is that your guy, your brethren, your friend, your companion, but he's there doing the bidding of a Celestial Dragon. The same people you're there to destroy sad proper sad what's going on how did a giant get here morley i've got the keys from sabo okie dokie let's head down karasu look how they massacred my boy oh <laughs> <laughs> he actually got violated that's too funny oh he got destroyed great emu king cobra is still present oh no Oh no, if she, if they're showing themselves when they're not supposed to in front of other people, that means that person's got to go. Yeah, it's a bit, oh wow, wait, oh, Emu said Lily. Lily, oh, 
she sat down on an empty throne. Emu is Lily. That's what's being presented to us, but I don't know. That feels a bit too easy. Oda really just gave us the answer like that in the same chapter. Hmm. We'll see, but that's a L. <laughs> yeah, empty throne, that's all a lie. <laughs> We've been ruled by a dictator this whole time. That's a sick colour scheme, though, for the throne. I like it. It has the same colour scheme, colour palette as Roger as well. That's kind of crazy. That's wild. I don't know if that means something, but knowing One Piece, that can't be an accident. That can't be a coincidence. Right, this one was, yeah. Whenever there's law on New World, I mean, the world government, it's, it's always good. So this is really interesting. The question is, we need we just need more we need more answers literally. There's, I can't even really speculate with any of this information because why would Lily be recruited by the world government? I mean, not by the world government, but why? How would how would she be able to take up that role when, like Cobra said, everything was established with no ruler and twenty kingdoms? Who would have put her in that position? She can't assume it herself because, like, do you get what I mean? There has to be a middle, like the five elders. The only explanation would be the five elders were around from the beginning of the third century. Because they still haven't explained how the five elders were founded. So maybe that's possible. But the question is, what would the reason for it be as well? Why would, why would they even establish the world government in the first place? I guess it's just a really easy way of getting everyone under one umbrella then to just rule them as opposed to whatever they were previously doing which was maybe the D-Clan versus all the other kingdoms hmm this is cra this is crazy this is crazy um huh. we don't know her motives or Emu's motives we don't know we don't know why Lily would even be given that authority even though she didn't become a member of the family there's so many different reasons why this is so difficult to call, but very interesting nonetheless. Very, very interesting. We're still in the flashback because <laughs> that was a cliffhanger. They're not ending it there. Sabo, we still don't know how Sabo saw what he saw. King Cobra ain't dead yet. So, damn, this is crazy. But now there is a break. I jinxed it at the beginning of this video. Damn. I guess we'll leave it at that. So please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And with that being said, people, I'm good.